I think the, the most important thing is that pretty much every town that is a beer town starts by having a great brewery. And so I always say, like, you name the city in America and I'll tell you what the brewery is. Toledo. <laughs> uh, great Lakes. Ooh, well, there you go, see? Yeah. Orlando. <laughs> well, Orlando is, is Tampa. Like, it's, it's influenced by Cigar City. Sure. So we're here with Tony, uh, eponymous of uh, Tony Darts Away, right? So, right. so the, it's an interesting story behind that, right? Because this was named Tony's Darts Away before you owned it. It was named Tony's Darts Away uh, in the late 60s, early 70s. And then it was illegally run for a little while where there was no liquor license. And it was legally established as Tony's Darts Away in 1978. And then about three years before I bought it, a gentleman named Daniel bought it and uh, took some primer paint and painted off the Tony, so they just called it Darts Way. But everybody who knew it always called it the Tony Darts Way. And then if anyone knows anything about primer, it fades in the sun. So then Tony's like slowly started reappearing. So when I came here, it said clearly said Tony Darts Way. And your name was Tony, yeah. right? And so it still was, is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was meant to be. <laughs> That's great. Vegans will come far and wide for a good meal or for a good beer. There, there aren't that many places that have this much uh, food that's vegan and this much beer that's vegan, you know, all in one place. Here's my newest beer. It's called 300, it's called 329 Lager. We opened our brewery, Golden Road Brewing, uh, about four miles south of here. There were maybe four breweries, five breweries in LA County. Uh, now I think there's 25, something like that. And there's probably another 25 in the planet. Wow. LA is becoming a beer town, and uh, we're right we're right here, a big part of it. Anyway, I left, we came back, and that was hanging on the wall. And it turns out that my father found that picture of me, blew it up, and sent it here as like a pub warming gift. And so are you saying she was sitting? She was sitting this, here, and I was leaving, and she literally like just like reached out and grabbed me, and I was like, yeah. you know. My name's Tony and the bar is Tony's and people kind of know me. I thought she was just like a, like, you know, just wanted to say hi or something like that. Pretty cute. She's like, I'm, I'm Corey girl. And she's like, you know, I yeah, met her husband. She knows my wife. We, we, uh, we definitely, you know, we've had beers together many, many, many times. And I said to her, I'm like, look, is there anything I can do to help you promote your brand? You know, and, and I said, can we do a fundraiser for you? Can we do anything? And she, she was very, like, you know, blah, 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 about it. I wasn't too excited about the whole thing. and. Anyway, about a month later, I was at the Roxy, and my friend Nick, who owns the Roxy, said to me, hey, I really want to do a craft beer thing. Will you help me with it? And Nick's a longtime vegan, probably been vegan 20 years. And I, I thought, do you know Cory Girl? He's like, I know of her, I don't know her. And I called I called Cory Girl, asked her, she's like, oh, I know Nick, I, just, I don't know who he is, but we're friends on Facebook, and I'd love to meet him. Anyway, I got us all together, and Vegan Beer Festival was born. Oh, wow. Yeah.